Okay, we're just leaving uh, Lobache, heading down to Farishé. And uh, yesterday we made our way into Mount Everest Base Camp and then back down to Gorak Shep for lunch and then back down to Lobache for the night. You know, usually after going up to base camp, being in Gorak Shep for the night and uh, going up onto Kalpatar, people are feeling the effects, you know, and uh, a little beat up. But I do think that uh, if it was easy, there wouldn't be as much accomplishment in it. And uh, now this morning as the sun comes up and the tea house warms up and we start to head down the valley, people really start to feel the accomplishment that they just made. And it's a long trek into Ever Space Camp and a lot of hard work from everybody in this group, but they all did it and uh, they should all feel really proud of that. The uh, Lukla airport had been closed for five days, so helicopters were limited. I had one guest that uh, stayed an extra night in Gorakshep and then she just flew overhead a few moments ago. So she'll be down at Lukla when we meet her tomorrow. We do take the helicopters from Farishé back to Lukla and then back to Kathmandu to finish our trip. So we don't trek all the way back to Lukla anymore. We uh, use the helicopters to get back out from Farishé. It works a lot better. And I think it's a really good way to conclude our ever space camp trek. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. There they go, they're heading down valley. You can see, uh, some of the helicopters now flying down somewhere in here right there from uh, uh, Gork Shep. Flying over. Getting people out, which is nice. And uh, I think on any of these journeys, you know, there's certain things that people aren't used to, like higher altitudes after long days. Uh, cool mornings in the tea house or tea house conditions that aren't quite like home but you know we make it comfortable and uh, if everybody has the gear on our gear list they generally uh, are, are comfortable throughout whether it's sleeping conditions or trekking in any kind of weather that we might encounter so it's uh, nice to experience the whole thing the group of people that uh, sign on for a trip and they trust us to give them the best experience that we can uh, keep them safe the entire way we do med checks to make sure that we're watching every individual on the trip uh, so they ascend into altitude safely and acclimatize properly and then uh, push their limits. We love to push their limits. And uh, in the end, uh, they have a great experience, a great memory, and uh, something that they can really be proud of. So uh, it always feels nice when we're working our way from Lobache down to Farishé here at the end. Uh, never rest too easily until we're loaded up and back in Kathmandu, but uh, each day we take the, what the day gives us. And um, it's a great time here in the Himalayas, in the Kumbu Valley, trekking to Mount Everest Space Camp with these groups and uh, seeing them accomplish their goals. So uh, really another great day in the Kumbu Valley. Okay, I am here at the Hyatt Hotel, the uh, beautiful 
hotel here in Kathmandu where we spend our last night on our Everest Base Camp trek. We had an awesome uh, helicopter flight out from Farishay yesterday. We uh, trekked down from Everest Base Camp to Lobache. We spent one night there. And then we trek on down past the uh, stone memorials, the Chortons that are put out for the climbers that have passed in the mountains on down into the Farishay Valley to Farishay, where we spend our last evening. It's really a nice evening. We uh, have the entire team join the group for dinner at the tea house there, and they do a little buffet for us. And we thank our staff for the hard work that they do on the mountain. We make all envelopes and the group tips up a, a pool, a group tipping pool. And we had our last night there. Then in the morning, first thing, we had three helicopters fly in and pick up the group. They come early. We, we work towards getting the first flights of the day. And then we <clears throat> made our way to Lukla and then on to Kathmandu. When we get back to Kathmandu, we come here to the Hyatt Hotel. It's a beautiful property here right in uh, Kathmandu. It's close to the Bodhna Stupa, so the group can, uh, a lot of times they fly out after uh, the day after we return. So they usually come in and go into Tamel and do some shopping and that kind of thing. And uh, then this evening we meet for a uh, nice celebration private dinner here. We actually meet right here and uh, right on the edge of the pool it's a lovely property they've got a nice spa they've got a beautiful breakfast room and a uh, nice big pool and um, the group can relax here they can walk over to the Bodhna stupa very easily from here so uh, sometimes uh, the following day before they fly home a lot of people fly in the afternoon or even the evening um, they have time to go over to the Bodhna stupa relax by the pool hang out at the hyatt and get ready for their flight home but it was a great trip and I'm flying home today. I'm looking forward to it. It's been three uh, Everest Base Camp treks for me in a row. And uh, we had a wedding, which was really nice uh, on one of them. And uh, some great groups of people over here in Nepal. It is an amazing journey through the Himalayas up to Mount Everest Base Camp and Kalapatar. And our groups just love it. And uh, it's a lot of work. It's challenging. It's a strenuous trek for us at Worldwide Trekking, but uh, you know, what we do is when people sign on, we consult them, we have a training plan, we help them gear up. I have a number of videos, as you know, on, on YouTube that people can watch about the entire journey. And uh, we do it in first class style. Worldwide Trekking, we, you know, spend two nights at the, high, or the Yak and Yeti when people arrive. We do some cultural tours, we do some gear checks, we do some uh, really nice dinners and uh, get ready to go in. Then when we fly in, we use helicopters to go into the valley and land in uh, Phuc Ding to start our journey. We trek from tea house village to tea house villages. All of these villages are places that I have long lasting and long friendships from people and, and owners and, and local villagers that run these uh, tea houses all the way up to base camp so in every village we've been staying there for a number of years we pick and know the best places to stay in the valley the nicest tea houses that have good food and comfortable accommodations and a really personalized atmosphere um, with the people that run those uh, tea houses so <clears throat> the entire thing is uh, uh, an incredible journey and then we make it back here to the Hyatt and uh, we have our final night here and 14 days here in Nepal. An amazing experience with worldwide trekking going to Mount Everest Base Camp in Kalpatar. And uh, I can't say enough good things about it. It's a life-changing experience for people and uh, I love to guide it. And our guides here at Worldwide Trekking love to guide it. Contact us if you have any questions. We'd love to hear from you and uh, we'd love to bring you on a journey to Mount Everest Base Camp here in Nepal. Thanks again.
bittersweet. I'm ready to go home and it's been a long, long time since May. Guiding in Utah and the Alps and Kilimanjaro and the Dolomites and the last three trips here in the Himalayas. Never space camp in Kalpatar and yeah, perfect. Another perfect season here in the Himalayas. I miss these guys though.